今日も忙しい日になりそうですよ Secret artifact. The read. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't know why I just showed you that, but didn't say my name, so <laughs> whatever. I'm not a summoner. This, this, I'm not the summer thing everyone keeps going on about. But what about the thing? We have the app, app running. You can know you're the house you look into, you know? And the power is currently out of control. You can't ignore the evidence. This is what gives you out of it. Lies, it's not true. How did things end up like this? From the, the moment I registered for the stand up, it all started falling apart. It started last night, right after I met you, Fifa. I had some business to take care of, so I received special permission to leave school premises. Premises. I headed to the Venus store of c a n d a s and that was when my phone suddenly lit up on its own. On the display was a registration screen in terms of use. As soon as I registered, this book started to glow. The glow disappeared pretty quickly, but it must have drawn attention to me. Soon I found myself mixed up with some punks from another school. Call themselves Rookie Hunters. I didn't see this guy s o m e r e a r Rookie Hunters. They were going on about a load of mumbo jumbo I couldn't fathom, like guilds and affiliations. Then, just as I was, just as I was trying to escape, these things showed up. s c r e a m I don't intend to hurt anybody. But it was over before I knew what was going on. These things just started to rip one of those guys to pieces. So all a n d just thought it to go for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry.、Uh, I'm trying to be serious. But, like, I'm just imagining it in the cartoonish fashion. And it's taking all the dramatic stuff out of it. But, anyways. His whole arm just thudded to the floor. I watched his blood spray everywhere. It was chaos after that. Everyone was panicking and running over each other to get away. First the book, then the demons, and those poor blood soaked students. I freaked out and fled the scene, but I couldn't get the sight of that blood out of my head. I hoped everything would go back to normal once I got home and closed the app. I told myself it was all just. Bad dream. I turned my phone off and went to bed, believing it was a nightmare and nothing more. But you heard what was said during the homeroom. That. that a kid from another school was murdered? 
What? Murder. No, it wasn't me. Those things did it on their own accord. But now they won't leave me alone. Every waking moment, this them in this damn book. It's a dead eye book. Of course there's scenes popping out of it. <laughs> Sorry. Those punks and their friends are looking for me all over Shijuku now. Sometimes they find me and when those things just, just and that's when these things are going all going for them. I can't take it anymore. The severed arm, the rivers of blood. Prefer, you're one of them, aren't you? You came for me too. Screech. Gra. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, this is taking a toll on my voice. <coughs> Not more of them. We have something. To we have to do something. There will be no end to this, Master. They're on a rampage. And probably half mad. There's no reasoning with them. Don't forget these things are familiar. Spurred on by their de master's defensive instincts. They're ready to tear us to shreds. Let's hightail it out of here. What do you say? Nope. I'm staying here. This, this lovely man needs help. Is that a belt around his hand? Why is why is there a belt? What? Anyways, there's no place in this world for me. Master, skin, do not fear we destroy enemies. Destroy. Grab, grab, smile. There's no one left for me to go. Uh. Oh no, Master! He pulled it on us! And now his familiars are coming from us! There are too many of them! We can't possibly chase him with this many on us! Hurry and put some distance between us and the enemy first! Shiro! <laughs> My baby! Kaidan is not here! I'm so yeah, I Yeah. 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 I love finding over designs. Yeah. It's fun. Peace <laughs> stop. Yeah. Oh look at that tiny child too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making fun of um, Japanese voice actors. Why is Japanese always so dramatic? I know that's not it for everything, but like... In anime? I don't know if you guys have seen My Hero Academia or anything, but like... Damn, that's dramatic. I've only seen the first two episodes and it's dramatic. Like, in the scene where uh, Midori, Mido Midoriya, or however you say her name, his name is Deku. His name is Deku. There we go. Uh, in, in the scene where Deku was all like, 
Will I become a hero? Can I become a hero if I'm quirkless? And Dominic's like, like, and then I cut him off, and then the next, the next episode is just a bunch of cutscenes, <laughs> reminding us of everything we just saw in the last episode. Like, um, we just saw this. Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, um, it was just like. So dramatic. All Might could have just said no, you can't. But it was like, that's a good dream. The speech, 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 speech. It was a good speech. It was dramatic. It was cool. But like, <laughs> why couldn't you have just said no? Are you trying? Like, I could tell that All Might was trying to dance around the feelings, you know? Just like, trying not to hurt you. I'm sorry, but you can't become a hero. You'll die. Please. <laughs> And I don't, I don't like Baku, ba Baku, Kachan. That's what Deku called him. Um, I just, I just can't with that guy. Like, he just told Deku to kill himself, and then Deku saves him. What? Anyways, let's just continue. Look at that guy, look at his handsome face and his handsome tattoo on his hand. Ooh la la, enchanté. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Little Solomon. I mean, find him, Little Solomon. Seriously, leave it to me. Hmm? Can't get a reading on his location. Oh, he must have closed the app. At this rate, we'll lose him. Oh my god. Oh god. Um, okay. Wow. You're even more useless than I thought. Not this guy again. I heard the whole thing. That so that teacher's pet is the culprit, huh? Should have stabbed him when I had the chance. Oh, he is carrying around a dagger. Two daggers. Oh, I didn't notice that before. I just thought that little Solomon was making fun of his edginess. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, normally I'm all for giving a rookie hunters a taste of their own medicine, as long as they are from some other guild. But when you mess with my people, you gotta pay the piper. Friends or not, you better stay out of this if you know what's good for you. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh, he said it himself. He confessed his guilt. It is a nice jump to conclusions, asshole. Anyways, I believe in him. Damn, you're annoying. I can't stand you goody two-shoes types. Can't say I didn't warn you. Call it newbie charity. Later, losers. Watch your backs. He's really got that delinquent act down, huh? I bet he'd knife someone who cheat, who got too close. Oh, this is bad, Master. Your battery. Your phone is almost out of juice. Oh, uh, you always live on in my heart. <laughs> Feel dramatic, like you'll always live on in my heart. But no, this is not a laughing matter. You better go recharge then. Oh, it's not like I actually live inside your phone, you know. So I won't die or anything if the battery runs out. <laughs> but there's a slight problem. You won't be able to use the app, so we won't be able to track down Shiro. <laughs> it's about to die. See you later. Click. Rip. <laughs> Whoops, my slip, my finger slip. No, rip. <laughs> Ritor. R R R Ryota? Ryota. No, I can't get a hold of Ryota either. Oh no. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot his voice. Jesus. 
You're late. What can I wait to do? You're late, FIFA. Very late. It's well past curfew. What are you doing out so late? And how did you get so banged up? Come to think of it, you look just as bad as yesterday. What have you been up to? Ugh. <clears throat> well, while we're at it, we're at pfft, while we're at it, Toyota yeah, is not back either. If he's not with you, where is he? Think there's still a murderer on loose. On the loose. Does no one care about their own well being? In any case, I'll save the lecture for now. You better hurry back to the dorm. And don't think you're getting off easy. You'll be hearing from me later. Hi, Dad. <laughs> he adopted me, right? Or is that coming later in the story? Right? Yeah, he'd send adoption pa papers. Also, he kind of looks like uh, Shiro from... Not, not, not the Shiro in this, but he looks like a, he looks like Shiro from Voltron with the little gray streak in his hair. So I'm gonna give him a old man voice. I forgot what voice I gave him last time. So <laughs> you're back, Fifa. Well, are you starting to get used to the school? Oh, you've all died. And do you not have a charger? Well, I suppose you did come here with only the clothes on your back. All right, come with me. Oh, I like that voice. I love this hair. I love guys with long hair that they could tie up in a ponytail. And I love white streaks in hair. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful man with whatever that thing is. Oh, that's a pen. I oh, never mind. Here's your charger. You can use. Yeah, my my phone in back. <laughs> I might put that line, but my phone was starting to turn off. <sighs> oh dear! It looks like the battery's completely spent. You won't be able to turn it on right away. Sit down. And make yourself at home. Let me get you some tea. Oh, and how about some biscuits? Ah, oh, I love you, old man. Mr. Mononobe. Now then, since we finally have some time to sit and chat, is there anything on your mind? Are you dating anyone? <laughs> well, it doesn't mean that you're my guardian. I appreciate you taking care of me. Yeah. Um, what does it mean that you're my guardian? What does it mean? Exactly what it sounds like. Now then, let me explain the story behind the legal guardian thing. Victoria told me a little about you. You have amnesia, right? Well, I became your legal guardian because someone asked it of me. I can't tell you who. Well, to be honest, I don't know either. You don't? You don't seem to be following. Looks like you're lacking some general information about this world. There are many transits in Tokyo right now. Legally speaking, you're also a transit. Everyone who shows up here out of nowhere, like you, is def defined as a transit. Tokyo is sealed off, you see. There's no way to come to Tokyo from the outside, except through a gate. Which means that you... No, I shouldn't try. Let me continue. As for the reason why all transits are designated as foreign exchange students, and why they're assigned to schools without exception. It's fairly obvious when you think about it. It's so humans can keep them under their surveillance. The legal guardians of all transits are chosen from among the humans in this world. Among those you've met, Mr. Izuka is in the same situation. As are Mr. Triton and Mr. Jin. Ugh. Oh. It's a general rule. All transits in Tokyo must have a legal guardian who is human. 
All expenses are covered by the national or local government. Or else by patrons or organizations that remain anonymous. I received orders from above. The sky? <laughs> no. From above. Along with the documentation you need to sign to accept me as your legal guardian. That's all. I hoped if I learned the origin of these orders it might help jog your memory, but it turned out it to be confidential. Am I a burden? Hmm? I never thought of it like that. Transits first appear when I was young, when I didn't have a path of life. The ethereal light of the gates appeared so suddenly, and when transits it started showing up, everything was thrown into chaos. Some prophecy or other claimed the apocalypse were just around the corner. Some people were trumpeting the end of the world. It was then that I met a particular transit. Peculiar. Particular? Whatever. I was afraid. I wanted to run away. Yet that transit, the transit just looked lost. It took me by surprise. Even a transit, a being I thought was beyond my human constitution, was, could look so very, very lost. A few years later, it, it was uh, something that Tokyo could coexist with other worlds. That's how I became a teacher. I wanted to help transits like the one I had met. But once I became a teacher, I found that I, I wanted to be there for all my students. So no, I'll nev I'd never consider you to be a burden. That is the honest truth. I have a duty to protect my students, both in an artificial category and a personal standpoint. Oh my god, stop, stop. One sec. I'm back. Anyways. So don't go do anything dangerous, okay? <laughs> I say this as your teacher. As long as you keep that in mind, and you should live li your life to the fullest. Us adults have will foot the bill. I appreciate it. Hmm? Uh, what happened to this blah blah blah? I don't know. Oh, what happened to that transit? Hmm? It's me. We haven't met since. Hopefully they're doing well. Hmm? Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Yes. Hello, officer. The friend fix up back on that body part. Sure. Oh, he's a car? Ooh, I didn't notice this before. I understand. I'll be right there. Of course. Sorry, Viva. I have some business to take care of. I wanted to talk to you more, but we've got plenty of time. We'll save the rest for later. You can stay here until your phone is charged. Just put the key in the mailbox when you leave. Hey! Hey! We got the, the best man with a goblet for some reason. Why does he have a goblet? Um, why? I'm stuck. I'm back. Sorry. I'm not supposed to be recording. It's like 2 in the morning. Again. I always record before I go to bed. And I usually go to bed at 12. And then I play on my phone for a bit. And then I record. So... Yeah, <laughs> fine. Oh, Viva, thank goodness. I couldn't get a hold of you, so I was starting to worry. Shiro still isn't back. Huh? Your battery died? Oh, well, it happens. I'm just glad you're okay. We Mr. Manobe was talking to the police. To the police? Oh, about the murder case. Hey, 
You haven't eaten dinner, have you? I've had some corn dogs. I've, I've bought some corn dogs at the convenience store. Let's see what we fill each other in on what we've been up to. So, Shiro might have killed someone or something. That, that doesn't make sense, really, because didn't little Solomon say that, um, little Solomon said that, that, um, players can't die, because the, the, those guys came back to life and we defeated the demons, so it doesn't make sense that if he was in a battle that he committed that murder. Then again, there's still a murderer <laughs> in the in this world. Okay, tell me what happened. So you're saying Shu went to the convenience store last night. He somehow registered for the app and some familiars using a sacred artifact. Yes. Stop. <laughs> Stop summarizing stuff. <laughs> Once he put a shirt, he became unsearchable within the app. He caught the eye of some hoodlums, fell prey to their rookie hunting, but his familiars went berserk, turned the tables, and totally busted those guys up. Which freaked him out and caused him to scram. Then the next day, one of the guys involved was found ripped in part, and that the murder case we heard about. So the bodies of those guys are after revenge and came looking for him. But they got crushed again, just when you found Shiro before he ran off somewhere else. Basically, yeah. I think you could have packed in a few more details. Jeez. <laughs> that was like a whole course meal of facts. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to regurgitate it to me. So you're telling me that Shu is the one behind the murder. I don't believe it. But um, I could believe that he pinned himself into a corner. He tends to do that. And if you consider the evidence you presented, he does seem like a prime suspect. If his familiars were out of control, it's not his fault though. So putting that aside, there are sort of Artifact wielders and transit users. That creates a battle zone, and the users who are members of the guild go around hunting rookies. So, can a simple social media app do that? I'm still wondering about that, um, that goblet there. Like, what? Why do you have a goblet? Is it like magical or something from a different world? Does it create infinite food? Why did you go to the convenience store then? <laughs> why do you have a lollipop? What the fuck? I don't know why he has a goblet. And I'm like a little thingy. Huh. Hold on. Something doesn't add up. Flashback time, I think. Probably because we put into a different... Background? Huh? Didn't I tell you? People can't be killed. It's just a game. Once the game's closed, the resolve of whatever went on in the battle zone can't be carried over into reality. If the app shuts down properly, any physical ramifications will revert to the state before the gameplay began. In other words, wounds heal and those who died are revived. Even objects that are broken will return to normal, except in some rare cases. Well, it's just as painful as dying for real, even after the battle is over. The memory of the experience will remain, so it will be extremely traumatizing. I freaked out and fled the scene, but I couldn't get the sight of the blood back on my head. So I hoped everything would go back to normal once I got home and closed the app. I turned my phone off and went to bed believing it was a nightmare and nothing more. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I should have said I knew it because I did know it. Fucking details, man. It's like... It's like... The players didn't play that last part like five minutes ago, you know? Whatever. Once the app shuts down, everything is supposed to be restored, right? Restored, right? I know Shiro closed the app at, at once, right? After, at, at least once after that. Everything was returned to house before the game start, uh, started. And yet the victim of the murder wasn't. The body was still torn apart. Does that mean the murder wasn't initiated by the demons she was summoned after all? That settles it. He had nothing to do with it. We have to find him and break the news. She was extra pretty fragile, you know? And it, all it takes is unwillingly breaking a few rules and he falls into depression. On average, he's down for a few days. The record is two months. If he's convinced he killed someone, he's probably out of commission for years. But first, we have to get around the teachers. We can't exactly tell them the truth. Seeking out is just... It's problematic, while the students have been breaking curfew lately, so Mr. Trident beefed up security. Some students tried to sneak out earlier, and he used his trident on them. When he tied them up in the strange room made of water or something. Even if we managed to get past Mr. Trident, we still miss the gym. Ugh! Listen, Pika, I want to help Shiro. Just like you two. You do, but... When I first met you, I was completely useless, like parsley on a plate. Hey, parsley is delicious. Do not diss the delicious parsley, you redhead man. With this stupid goblet. I can't get over the girl goblet. What the fuck is that? Wait, is that an artifact? Wait, wait, does he wear the glove to hide the tattoo? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what did he just say? Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, I'll help you no matter what it takes. You have a good heart, Fever. Okay, here's the plan. Hey, Moritaka! The wolves! I love wolves! Oh. I hope that there is a bird transit later on. Because I love birds so much. <gasps> what if there's a seal? Uh, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're short pod here. All we need is hopping hands or paws. We can get it. We can get. We need all the help we can get. Then explain. Wait. Then explain to me what's going on. If I don't. If I don't know what you. Ah, uh -huh, Mr. Drayton. What's all the commotion? <laughs> you should. Is <laughs> it? I don't know how to pronounce Japanese. <laughs> Mr. Triton! Moritaka said there was something he wanted to console you about. Consult you about. Huh? <gasps> what? A consultation? Consolation? Consultation? A consultation? With me? What is it? What do you wish to discuss? I'll meet your expectations with deeper love than the ocean. What? No, I don't even know what's going on. No matter. Speak. Pour all your troubles into my burly bosom. What the fuck, dude? No, Mr. Jordan. None of it of all these people. I must speak with you in private. Away from these rapping students, you know, well, puberty stuff. P puberty? 
<laughs> oh my god, he's so confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, beautiful pup. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah. Forgive me. I'm being insensitive. Let's go to the RV room right away. Rayota, explain yourself. What's going on? Sorry. Is that Sorry, Zeus. I'll treat you to a T-bone later. Now, it's a tough burden to bear, but I have to do my part too. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read it before I say it so I can, like, understand what I'm saying. <laughs> what? I see, so you're... I see, so you've been lugging around all... You've been lugging all that around. I completely understand. You're a lad, after all. What? Let's go to the RA room? Mine will be the most red-hot, passionate resolution you'll ever know? Um, Mr. Jen? Your smoking hot passion is going to suffocate me if you don't back off of it. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. <laughs> what the fuck? What was the excuse that you used, Ryota? What the fuck? You don't have to embarrass yourself for me. What? Now, now's your chance to sneak off the back. It's all down to you, FIFA. Yes. Ta-da! I'm back in the game. You are div your adorable familiar. A little cellular is fully charged and ready to go. Heading out on the town this late at night? Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I'd like you to search for Shiro. Find that player, huh? I need you to loud and clear. Now that we've run into him once, I can find him again for sure. Leave it to me. <gasps> this might as his fun is still on, that is. Wow, it's on all right. I know exactly where he is, Master. Let's move. Oh. Look at all these enemies! They're multiplying like rabbits! <laughs> yeah, sex jokes. <laughs> but Master, are you really going ahead with this? Yes. I bet you belly when we get back. <laughs> yes. I have to go out for my... I have to look out for my friends. Ugh, very well. You better keep me safe, okay? Mm. Let's let's do this. I'm all riled up. I'll drive into an ocean of blood for you. Jesus Christ! I'm a level three battering ram, baby. Thing, but it sounds important. I feel like trash today. Why is that? I don't know. Help me, please. Blue do. I am cold, but I don't feel like putting on a blanket. Boo 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 diddy. <laughs> Really, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Um, I, I feel like I'm gonna puke right now, but I'm still pooing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just kidding. Not really, but whatever, you know? Huh? Dakimasu? 
Isn't that what? Let's eat or thank you for the meal. What? Isn't that just like Japanese for you thank you for the meal? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why did he just say to Doc and Mox? One moment. What is with this? <laughs> this, this, uh, this stuff. Why? What is these voice actors? Cute. Sorry, I was distracted by a cute thing. What just happened? Huh? Oh. Oh. So. I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> hey, look at that. Hmm. If I do one more, with that the feeling that they're just gonna get longer and longer. So I think I'll stop here. So uh yeah, hi, welcome, stuff, yeah, yeah, um, I don't know what that was, oh, I'm gonna do some, do some stuff here, let's, let's get some levels going, you know, I forgot that there was gameplay to this, instead of just a visual novel thing, <laughs> She's uni. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's good. Boom. Yeah. Hey, look at that. That's what it's saying, by the way. Level up some demons, shall we? Okay, now we go to this. Okay, now edit team. In place of you, put these guys, and you go there. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, so with that, let's stop recording. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is, where you are. And bye.